An individual should not have too much freedom. A nation should have absolute freedom. Dr. Sun Yung-san, 1903. He is the founder of the Republic of China, but people refer to him more as the the father of of modern China rather than the founder of uh, the Republic of China, because they see that if if there was no Sun Yat-sen and his revolution. Uh, there would not be the modern China as it as it is becoming today. When he first came over, he couldn't speak a word of English, and uh, studied at at Iolani for two years, which uh, was a British bishop's school. So in in Iolani, it's believed that's the time when he was converted to Christianity, and uh, I, I think that those. Uh, Christian beliefs and values were to uh, later shape his his revolutionary career. Oahu College, being run by American missionaries, would teach more more subject matter on the American Revolution, and I, I think that uh, Dr. Sun was was very inspired by um, the the American Revolution. If we know his famous. Writing is Sun Ming Zhu Yi or Three People's Principle. We would find that it's very familiar to most Americans because uh, Lincoln believed that uh, government should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. I, I think that uh, the, the the local Hawaii Chinese community is, is very proud of the fact. That Dr. Sun grew up here in Hawaii. This was the first place where he encountered、um, Western ideals, encountered Christianity,、uh, which was to shape his his revolutionary career.、Um, in the matter of fact, Hawaii is the birthplace of the Chinese Revolution, because in 1894, Dr. Sun founded the the Shinsong Kui or the Revived China Society as his first revolutionary organization, and. With with the support that Dr. Sun received from the local Hawaii Chinese community, he was able to network with Chinese overseas Chinese communities around the world to support the revolution. Dr. Sun published his revolutionary ideas, seeking the final overthrow of the Manchu Dynasty and the creation of a democratic China. We must appeal to the people of the United States, in particular, for your sympathy and support. Either moral or material, because you are a Christian nation, because we intend to model our government after yours. Above all, because we are the champion of liberty and democracy. Dr. Sun Yung-sen, 1904. So, so in many ways, I, I see Dr. Sun's writings as as prophecies. So much of the way he envisioned the world at his time has become reality today. Yet during his time,、uh, people castigated him and jeered him,、um, thought of him as an idealistic dreamer,、uh, his, thinking his his ideals were were not pragmatic; they were impractical and and too too idealistic. But but today they they they've. They've become a reality, and and if you see the way China is progressing and developing, it, it, it is still the revolution in progress. The, the modern Chinese revolution started by by Sun Yat-sen. It's it's still ongoing. Dr. Sun Yat-sen was much respect in both in Taiwan and mainland China because his、uh, three people's principle and five power government.、Uh, you wonder why five. Uh, three powers: executive, executive, legislative, and、uh, judicial branch. He had censors and、uh, examination, which was traditional Chinese government's branch. So he always tried to combine Western thought with Chinese tradition. More than anything else, he he had a really beautiful vision. Of how to teach the Chinese people to build a modern nation, and and that's really what he's he's respected for today, is he is really the、um, 
the, the visionary and the architect of, of modern China. N not, not many people know that uh, Dr. Sun was the first international statesman to advocate international economic cooperation as the key to world peace. The whole world is one family. Dr. Sun Yung-sen, 1910.